What's good YouTube? It's your boy baby boy back again with another one. Today we're going to be actually doing a quick review of the Amelion Door New Balance 1300. Before we jump into it, make sure you like and subscribe, check me out on all social medias, and let me know what you think about the kicks. Let's jump right into it. So here's the shoe right here. Again, this is the New Balance 1300, and this is the collaboration with Amei Leon Dor. So when looking at this shoe, we're definitely getting a few like characteristics that we don't typically see on New Balance shoes. First of all, it's got hairy green suede all over the shoe, which I'm a huge fan of. I think it gives it a really nice touch. And it has, it also has really nice cream hits all over the shoe, which as we know, cream off-white is a really popping colorway right now. Gives these shoes a really nice vintage look. Um, these shoes are also made in the USA, which New Balance does have a lot of models that are made in the UK, some that are made in the USA, some that are outsourced to more so overseas. With Made in the USA, the hope is that there's a bit more quality there's a bit more you know quality control throughout the shoe and that you know you're giving work to people within the usa you know you want to support companies that you know manufacture in the usa because it's they're not outsourcing jobs and they are typically they're a lot nicer when things are made in the usa and, that, and i will say that that new balance does a really good job with their quality this shoe is no exception a few things i noticed right away with the quality is again this hairy green suede is a is a really nice touch it, it's a really quality suede there's also a it's almost like a i don't know what it it's like a cloth texture within the inners of the shoe the guts of the shoe are like a terry cloth there's also this really nice white leather on the back of the shoe the shoelaces are, are really high quality you can tell the construction is, is it's just rigid it, the shoe looks good and it looks like it's built to last one note about Amé Leon Dor, which is the collaborator for the shoe Amé Leon Dor has done a lot of collaborations with shoe brands um, they've done Timberland they've done Clark's I mean they've done New Balance obviously most of their hits have come from New Balance this is a newer model they're doing. They're they're typically known for the 550 and then one other model. They've been getting a lot of you know positive attention based on these New Balance models. M.A. Leon Dor was founded in 2014 by Teddy Santis. The aesthetic of M.A. Leon Dor it just has really been on point. Everything they make recently has really been something that I would rock for sure. And I really think that all of their clothing and everything is really well managed and curated. Again, founded in 2014, um, a New York based brand. So they make their own clothing and then they also have collaborations. One other thing I wanted to point out with the shoe is I did compare the quality of the suede to the 990 V3, also made in USA shoe. And you can definitely see the difference as far as the, the quality of the suede. This Airy suede is kind of like it's almost like an uncured cured or unfiltered suede it make, gives it a really nice hint but i think this is going to be a really dope shoe for the summer this green just hits it looks like it's like a lawn on your feet this green color and then the hits of cream and white on here kind of balance each other out i think this is a really dope shoe for the summer the good thing about this is you can actually get these in a lot of cases under retail or even right at retail Shout out to my boy Griffin for dropping these off the other day. He definitely hooked me up under retail. Got me these for 160 bucks. So huge shout out to you, brother. Appreciate you. I just knew that I would like this shoe even before putting them on. This is almost identical to the 574, which is a bit more of a more affordable model from New Balance. So if you're looking for the look of the 1300, you can definitely get that in a 574. They do a lot of different colorways in that as well. So like I said, I just think it's gonna be a great summer shoe. Good colors, low cut, very breathable, extremely comfortable guys. If you were looking for a, a good balance between comfort and casual, New Balance is better than really any other shoe out there. I'm telling you right now. I wear a size 10 and a half. I got a 10 and a half for New Balance. I would say they run true to size. I also wear a 10 and a half in Air Force Ones, a 10 and a half in Jordan Ones. Pretty much they're true to size 10 and a half. But one thing you might want to look out for is that if it's your first time buying New Balance, I would go to a store or somewhere where you can try a pair on because they do run a bit wider. I know Nike usually has a slimmer silhouette. This is definitely wider, a cozier shoe. So that's one thing you might want to look into before you go ahead and purchase this for yourself. I think it's a great collaboration with Amelia Dor. A little bit more on the slept on side, but I think that's going to change. Here's one more look at the New Balance 1300. Again, this is in collaboration with Amelia Dor. This is the New Balance 1300. 
But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, let me know what you think of the shoes. Let me know what you think of this format. I know this is definitely going to be a quicker video, but if you guys like the video, please make sure you drop a like. Subscribe if you can. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok as well. I'm relatively active on those two platforms, so definitely check me out there. But that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for checking out the kicks. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.